Okay, so for today's news, this comes to us from October 12th, and it deals with an incident that occurred in Seattle, Washington, on the waterfront, in fact. A private security guard who was posted there in a public area saw a woman who was acting shady, quote unquote, and he observed her and followed her uh, behind a garbage dumpster where he discovered she was urinating uh, in a public space. He therefore uh, made an arrest, believe it or not, and up to and including a physical altercation and handcuffing the woman. And then when the police arrived, guess what happened? Well, of course, you're dealing with a bozo every minute in this business, so the police arrested the guard for unnecessary roughness, unnecessary force, presumably um, false imprisonment, perhaps uh, uh, assault and battery, who knows. But the guard went to jail and the woman was released. Uh, know your stuff, people. Just know your stuff. Now this one, this one is really classic. Moving on to Houston, and this comes to us from October 9th, 2022. A private security officer in a parking lot observes two masked men approach another individual, a third individual. These masked men produce guns and are apparently robbing the uh, third party. Being the superhero that he is, the security guard unholsters his weapon and fires at the assailants to uh, prevent the crime. Well, he needs to go back to the range and spend some more time and some more dollars on practice rounds because he shot the victim. The victim went down. Uh, the police were called. One of the masked men escaped. Uh, to his credit, the guard was able to keep the other masked assailant at gunpoint until the police arrived. But um, again, uh, you wonder why we have such a low... Uh, uh, image, public image. Okay, so for the rest of this video, let's talk about a few business basics, specifically one business basic. What, in your opinion, differentiates the security department from other departments within your company? Whether it's a proprietary organization or it's staffed by contract officers, what sets security apart? Think about it a minute, not too long. Let me help you out here. There are probably several things you can mention that makes you different. However, the most uh, differentiating, differentiating um, aspect is that most departments in your organization are profit centers. Security is undeniably, in most cases, a cost center. This means you are often seen as a drag on profits by other business managers, other employees within the organization. It puts the onus on you to prove your work to the company time and time and time again because it is not always obvious to the bosses who set the budgets, do the hiring, decide on the firing. It puts you in a very difficult situation. So you always have to be on that edge. You have to be willing to prove your work to the organization. And if you can't do that, you're going to fall under a lot more scrutiny than, for example, someone who is actually bringing in money. <clears throat> um, I've been in some organizations where the security department is actually resented because it is seen as like holding the company back and you're paying all these um, expenses, uh, guards, patrol vehicles, uh, managers, whatever, and uh, uh, that's seen as a drawdown on profits and therefore it is an impact on somebody's annual bonus, for example, or someone's um, expected pay raise. So keep that in mind. You're always under the microscope. You are in, in, in most circumstances, you are a cost center and treat it with the seriousness it is. I'm Cole Morris. Thanks for your time and attention. If you want to get smarter, subscribe. If you want to get really smarter, like this video. So check out my growing collection of courses exclusively at Udemy.com. I'm Cole Morris and I'll see you around campus.